going to be doing a 2.75 year review of my slash 4x4. So, I've driven this truck through many different things in like playgrounds and parks in um, like on a BMX track in snow, dirt, mud, water, skate parks, skate park pain, uh, lots of different things. So I'd say my truck has been through a lot, in, especially in terms of comparing it to stock and then where it is now. So where it is now um it's got it's definitely looks way different than a stock slash 404 i mean it's still got like the tracks pro graphics body but it's um painted differently than a uh, stock body and um it's definitely upgraded differently and uh is much faster i'd say so um my slash 4x4 has the telemetry kit which the only the ultimate versions come with now so Yep, and then um, it has an aluminum bearing adapter for the slipper clutch. It has the heavy-duty slipper clutch pads and um, RPM suspension arms, aluminum rear hub carriers, aluminum C-hubs and steering blocks, low C springs, <laughs> uh, clear gear cover, Pro-Line body mounts, the Traxxas Pro Graphics body, and... Um, Pro-Line trencher tires and some kind of wheels and um, what else? Uh, aluminum aluminum wheel nuts and um, sway bars. There, there's probably more that I'm just forgetting, but you know what? It's been a while, so yeah. I'd say my truck is fairly extensively upgraded. So if you just look on my channel, uh, you can see all the slash four before videos that I do, and I do like the first person thing because I have a GoPro mount. Oh yeah, GoPro mount on there which is an actual Traxxas part which is good I'd recommend that to anyone who likes videos just cut out the windshield and then there you go um, so I've driven it on dirt and in snow on road stuff and um, the BMX track Alright, so as you can tell, I've driven it on many different surfaces. I'm going to make this short and simple. You don't want a slash 4x4 for your first um, hobby grade RC, especially a four-wheel drive vehicle in general, because they are more complex than a two-wheel drive vehicle. Trust me, start off with a two-wheel drive vehicle. Um, and the only thing you have to watch out for is, like, um, maintenance, especially of the slipper clutch. I've had to tighten that many times, and um, I've rebuilt mine twice. So, um... Yeah, I, I, I'm good at that, you could say. Um, you need to basically just get, like, the first upgrades, obviously a faster charger for any electric vehicle. RPM suspension arms, aluminum shocks, and, like, just basic maintenance is all you need. And then you should be good for your Slash 4 before. But you do want to get a two-wheel drive vehicle first, just so you learn how to work on a uh, hobby grade RC because they are much different than anything you can buy at Walmart or Toys R Us or whatever and um I'd suggest not buying one of these things used just because you don't know what's wrong with them unless you have someone that is RC uh, savvy I guess you could say uh, coming with you so they can actually like inspect the vehicle for you uh, if you could say and I mean you can do that with full-size cars but that translates into RC too because you never know what could be wrong with these things um, and you know some people don't know how to fix them some people do uh, which is good but yeah you just need to watch out for like you know problems that happen with regular RC vehicles I guess so yeah that is basically about it for the slash 4x4 and uh, I will see you guys later bye